and welcome to this little demo uh, mostly aimed at developers who want to contribute to our little open source project regarding uh, Mari shaders, functions, uh, notes, etc. If you want to join, you're more than welcome, anyone's welcome really, and the more the merrier. So we got this little idea scale note pack area at the moment where we kind of have some sort of structure, we try to avoid duplication of stuff and um, so I'm just going to go over some basic things there and also some small intro into some git workflows. First thing um, I would recommend that you download the git user interface. It's a pretty nice little tool you can download it at the git site and you basically have like a really nice interface uh, that keeps track of your git folder and it's easy to do commits and stuff but we'll get to that in a second um, first up we got our master branch which is generally a release branch it's a stable branch um, and we try not to push every little thing right into the master branch instead we have the dev branch um, dev is kind of the accumulation of all the work that comes in from different people and um, if you want to do something it's best to take the dev branch so you can switch here dev branch do a clone in desktop and you'll be asked for this and you can see now it's syncing it up second it's quite a few files by now it's a big library and while this is going I'll just go over some basic workflows I guess so I kind of adopted this workflow which seems to work really well so you have your master which is the release version then you have your development branch from the development branch things get pushed into master or over like there might be a release candidate branch in between but generally people branch off the development branch so for example I think by now we're done yeah um, you got this interface here so now I've got the uh, dev branch cloned and let's make a little change for example I go to my uh, git folder under my documents github and I'll just update the readme with something. For example, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Let me just add a space here. Small change. Um, save this. And now let me just go back one and reopen this. And you can see now it has tracked that there was a space added. So I'm just going to commit this. And by default it's committing to master, which you don't want. You can change this up here just by switching the branches. And I could go straight to dev. Or I can create a new one. Um, in general, it would like for something as small as this, pushing it right to the dev branch is fine. But if you're doing some bigger changes, new nodes, etc., it might be worth doing a, a branch. So, for example, you just type it in tutorial, uh, sorry, spelling tutorial, uh, create branch tutorial. And now the commit here has switched. So, if I just uh, type some tutorial sample, you can put some description and I'll just commit to tutorial. And since this is the first time this branch is push out there's a publish button here usually there's a sync button um, which will sync it to the server but in this case I'm just going to do a publish and now there's a syncing because something's you can see the branch is ahead by one commit behind by zero commits because it was cloned of the dev so uh, I'm just going to sync this branch And now we're in sync. 
and if I go to my git uh, update this here now I have a tutorial branch here it's pretty easy you can keep working you can keep syncing in there um, but let's say I want to I'm ready with this everything's done and I want to push this into the dev you don't want to push straight into master uh, because the dev kind of it's like a flow model you know you you work on, on some branch like a sub branch you put finish the branch you push it into dev and from there we push into master if we have to uh, well sooner or later we will so here I've got my tutorial branch and I'm just gonna do a compare and pull request and again by default it'll tell me up here uh, to go into master you just click on the edit and you set it as a base into uh, dev so I'm just gonna type something meaningful in here and then I'm gonna send the pull request and going back now if you're not on the uh, list of people who can actually um, close pull requests it's called like collaborators um, in that case you would probably not be able to branch it off right away but you would have to fork something which would go to your own repository and do a, a pull request from there into ours but um, you know if you're contributing just send any of the people here an email and um, will gladly add you so you can basically tweak this thing as, this, as if it's your own um, but yeah like for example now we have in the dev we have a you can see we have a pull request here open um, tutorial sample and we just click on it and you can review everything and it'll tell you that there's nothing you know wrong with it that it can be merged because there hasn't been any clashing editing being done by different people so we just merge it in and confirm merge and now you can see here the pull request successfully merged and closed and you can delete your branch like the tutorial branch I just created um, for example if you um, it's good to just branch something for development and then you know close it off and if you pull it in to the dev branch and then rebranch this way you're always in sync with what's going on in dev and then we just delete the branch and that's it now if you haven't deleted the branch right straight away you can always go up here to the branches and you will be presented with all your uh, all the different branches and you can just delete one from there and um, you know at one point we will take the div and just pull it straight into either master if it's a, a you know smallish change I guess uh, for bigger changes I would propose that we use um, a release candidate as an in-between just to you know do a snapshot of the state of dev that we think is good to go and then uh, push that one into master this way you know like dev can keep on changing while the release candidate we can just kind of polish it up I guess uh, with some stuff like uh, updates to readme's and stuff and yeah I mean that's pretty much already it uh, the general structure I would recommend that you read some of the SDK in the uh, library development overviews um, but other than that, you know, that's pretty much it and hope you can contribute. Thanks very much.